I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is July 3rd, 2015, and today I'm going to go over how to install FFmpeg on Ubuntu 14.04. Now the first thing you should probably check out is this site. I'll put a link up to it, and this guy gives a lot of details on how to install FFmpeg on Ubuntu. Now he goes into all the little pre-installs you have to do and all the little libraries, which I'll have on my install process. Uh, the only difference between mine and his is sometimes you can, and he'll list them, sometimes you can use app-get to install, and sometimes you have to use source control, depending on what version app-get uh, will install. Now, I went through and checked out on Ubuntu 14.04 which ones you can actually just use app-get to install, and so that's what I'll be using rather than the, than the compiled source. Uh, but if you have any problems or have any issues, you can probably go to this guy's site and get all kinds of details. Now the other thing, if you just want to run the install process and don't care about all the little details, I have I put up a guest script on GitHub that you can just download and run, and it should install everything that you need on 14.04 for FFmpeg, and just run it and you'll be fine. And here's the link for that. Okay, well now let's get started. Oh, I really should log in to my machine here that I made. And just to show everyone that it really is Ubuntu 14.04. There you go, Ubuntu 14.04. Okay, the first thing I need to do is upgrade and update app-get. So I can run a sudo app-get upgrade. Oh, we can put a dash y in here to answer yes to any questions so you don't have to. Um, doesn't have to pause, just goes through and, and and just installs everything, or upgrades everything in this case. So upgrade, and update. Let that run for a minute here. And those are upgraded. On to the next step, installing some of the automake and uh, other tools you may need via app-get. Uh, so I'm going to copy and paste this in here, but before I do, just in case you don't know, when you're installing app-get, there's, uh, well of course you can install multiple things at a time, make, cmake, uh, but another thing you can do on any command, it's not a pseudo app-get thing, uh, I can use this, slash, to start a new line. So if I do this, it's the equivalent of installing as, as if they're on the same line. So this would install make, cmake, and postgres if you could do it that way. Um, let me cancel that. So I can do, let me do a simple example, echo. Well, can you echo two things? I don't know. I guess you can. So I can do echo hi one two three up four. So that's how you can use that slash command in case you're unaware. So I'm just I'll be using that slash command in here just to make things more readable. But really you can just do it all in one line. So let me clear that. And I'm gonna copy and paste this. Oh. I'll try and copy and paste it. Mercurial. Okay. So there's all the extra tools I need. Auto comp, auto make, etc. But you can easily read that in the guest script that I left up on GitHub. So just hit return and let it all install. It's probably going to take a few minutes, so I'll speed things up here. I'm going to speed things up there, <clears throat> here throughout the video, but I'll put a timer there to show how long things are taking, and I'll speed up the timer too, so it'll be accurate within the time. And there we go, so all that stuff's installed now. Perfect. <clears throat> Perfect. 
Okay, on to the next step, just setting some environment var environmental variables that are used by part of the build process. So I'll add this uh, home bin path uh, because a lot of things are going to be built inside of a bin folder in my home path, and then I'll move them later. And then I've got another one here. We'll do it on two lines. How's that? There you go. And so this is used by the FFM pig, FFM peg build itself at some point. Okay, so that part's done. Clear that out. Okay, the next simple step, just make a directory in your home directory. We're going to uh, download all these uh, files and compile and then CD into it. Okay. Now the first thing I want to install here is Yasm. And this one we can actually install via the app-get tool. Just app-get uh, install Yasm. That's all you need to do. Okay, that's installed. The next library FFmpeg needs is uh, libx 264. And luckily, we can install that via app-get too. So sudo app-get-get yes install libx264-dev and let it install. Yep, yeah, that's pretty quick. Okay, so that's installed. The next thing I need to install is the uh, libx265 tools. Now this you can't do via app-get, so you have to uh, download everything. So we're already in the FFmpeg sources folder, and I'll do this. Yeah, let me copy and paste so I don't mess this up. So, so first you have to clone the libraries down from Bitbucket. Then we need to change directories to this one. And then we need to use CMake to build it in part. Just like that. And hit enter. And then make. Now this one, if I remember correctly, takes a while. So I'll speed up the video here. Now that's all done, run make and make install. And that's it for the X uh, 265 tools. Okay, now I need to install the libftk-aac tools, I guess. Uh, and that I have to do build from source again, too. So let me change directories first. And then I have this wget to download the source code. And then untar it. And cd into it. Run this auto recomp. 
dash FIV. And then configure it. And then make it. Okay, and then run make install and make dist clean. And that's it for the AAC installation, or ACC installation, I should say. Now to install the MP3 tools. Luckily, we can do that via app.get. App.get install lib mp3 lame uh, dash dev. And hit return. And that's it. Your MP3 library should be installed now. Now into install lib opus, which you can do through app.get again. Uh, if I can learn how to spell app.get, yes, install uh, lib opus dash dev. Okay, that was a fairly easy one, so that's installed now. Now to install lib vpx, which is something I have to uh, build from source. Let's get in the right directory. Download it with wget. Untar it. CD into it. And then run this configure. And then run make. Okay, now run uh, make install. And make clean. Okay, so now that part's done. Now to actually compile the code, the FFmpeg code. So let's change directories. Let me download it. Let me untar it. And then here is the configuration for it, which is kind of long and lengthy there because it's incorporating all those libraries. But there it is. It's probably easier just to go copy it from the GIS that I put on GitHub. Oh, sorry. I need to go into this directory. So CD into FFmpeg. And let's try that again. So there's all the information there. And let it configure the FFmpeg build. Okay, now run make. And that's finally done. Now run make install. And run make dist clean. And hash dash r. Okay. So now that part's done. Okay, now for the last step. Now, if you look here, it created a bin directory in my home directory. And if I look in there, there are all my FFmpeg tools that were compiled. Now, I don't really want them there, so I'll move them to my bin directory. 
And if I do that, now if I do F, which FFM peg, I should have it. Now let's prove it's working. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a video file and an audio file and replace the audio portion of the video portion with the audio file. So to explain that, I have this uh, Firefly song. If you can hear that. Then I have this video. I already opened it up over here. Okay, it took a lot of stitching. But... So that video just has the original audio track to it, and I want to replace the audio track on it with that Firefly song. So to do that, let me exit out of here, and I'm actually in that folder that actually has those files on my main computer, and I'll copy them over. Let me get back to my machine here. Okay, now I should have both those files. Yep, there we go. So what I want to do is ffmpeg-input, and I input the, the zipper video, and another input, the Firefly video, the Firefly music. And then what I want to do, and I'm not a super expert in ffmpeg, so this is from some other people's notes is I do copy dash map uh, zero dash v, dash v dash zero and what that's going to do is say is off the first input take the video from the first video track because I guess you could have multiple video tracks in theory and map uh, the second input which is the Firefly song the audio only the first the first track and combine those into a a new video called newvideo.mp4 and hit enter oh what did i do oh i didn't do that quite wrong right so let me try that again so okay i forgot a dash c so i was close but not quite the right command so zipper input firefly dash C copy I forgot that dash C uh, dash map zero zero dash video zero dash dash map zero up one audio zero new video dot mp4 that should work there we go So that should be combining both the videos. Well, it should be overriding the audio in that it should be creating a new video that has the video from the MP4 and the audio from the, the Firefly song. So just to prove that worked, let me exit out of there and copy it to my main machine. And so you can see it coming over here. I'll move that in here. New video dot mp4 here. There we go. Give it a second. There it is. Downloading. And let me open it up here. And there it is. So there's my video, and it added the song portion to it. So. Uh, not that that's really what I want to do in the future, but usually what I want that for is I'm trying to use a tool called Audacity that can uh, analyze audio files and can remove the white noise, which creates a new audio file. And so once I create that new audio file, I want to overwrite the original audio file on the, uh, on the video. But anyway, that proved that it's working, and so that's how you install FFmpeg on Ubuntu 14.04.